good morning so i wanted to do a mini vlog on a new coffee uh chain that i found now if anybody knows me they know that i, I can't function very well without coffee in the morning um teeny afternoon coffee in the morning but that's open to debate um foxtails coffee they are starting to pop up they're in a kind of a growth phase at the moment they're starting to pop up all over the kind of Sodo area, which is kind of south downtown. There's one in Winter Park. There's one in Windermere. They haven't quite ventured out to the Eye Drive or Kizumi area yet. Maybe those markets aren't quite ready for it. Um, but I absolutely love this coffee. And, and why? One is that um, they are dedicated to being responsible to sourcing and roasting ethically so you know think of you know your farmers uh, roasting the beans getting paid fair wages things like that you know so that they're, they're into investing into their farmers um also their coffee bean is really good so it's a really really nice strong cup you don't need a lot it gives you a massive buzz um their beans come from all over the world mexico ethiopia but it's all about putting money into the workers and into the farm so that they can source responsibly um, and not obviously squeeze the workers. So making sure that everybody's getting paid at a fair wage for good coffee. So that's one of the reasons why I like it. Also, the other reasons I like it is that when you walk in, it feels really welcoming. It's really funky. It's, you know, think of it. It's quite an industrial feel, lots of wood, exposed beams. Um, but it's really welcoming. So when you sit in there, you know, you can have a chat. There's lots of people having business meetings. There's a couple of people there with children. It's like really friendly and inviting. Um, they take their coffee making really seriously. So be prepared sometimes for a little bit of a wait. Um, because they're proper baristas you know they really do spend the time to make a good cup um it's not cheap i mean i just paid like i think over five dollars for this cappuccino and it's not the hugest you know i'll be honest but i said it's it, it's really really good coffee um and it just a change from you know your starbucks you know w which seems to be on every street corner here and one of the things that I found about living in Orlando is that they do love a chain you know where we're currently living so we've we've moved recently to south downtown so we're kind of in the outskirts now of downtown orlando um it, there's a lot more independent uh places popping up um which is what i like and, it, and actually in all fairness winter park if you go around park avenue they do have a lot of like independent stores but if you head down i drive and kiss me it's all chains and it kind of gets a bit samey but you know that's that's just me that's just me great if you're here on holiday um because you stick to familiar things but when you're living here sometimes you just want something different so i'm quite happy that foxtails has popped up on my radar they have an app too i'm sure you can get points you know like you can in england you get points for everything um but yeah. so that's foxtails in a cup um please continue to like share subscribe to my videos it's great to see my channel growing i'm really excited even if it's just one or two people who subscribe you know who just want to know a little bit into insight of, of living abroad in orlando and, and what it's really like i'm going to do another cup of tea with sam next week i've been a little bit busy with the move um, i'm going to go through kind of our journey with, with buying a place here because it's so totally different to buying a place in england so i'm going to kind of recap that of our experience what we went through so stay tuned and see you soon